In an earlier video, I had demonstrated how if I change the indoor fan speed on an air conditioner, then I will get different pressures and temperatures uh, at the outdoor unit. You know, these are refrigerant temperatures and pressures, uh, and there is some change in superheat. Uh, but this one I wanted to talk about humidity and using that indoor coil or the indoor coil size or the fan speed to control humidity. So I'm going to run this thing through three different fan speeds at the indoor coil or at the indoor unit and we will look at what the uh, relative humidity is okay now we have it running with high speed on the fan that means i'm moving as much air as this air handler is capable of doing and we have a relative humidity of 69 now relative humidity is all i'm looking at right here now with this on medium speed You'll notice that my relative humidity has gone up from 69 to 74. That's because the air temperature is cooler and it can hold less moisture in the cooler air, so the relative humidity goes up. Let's try it in low speed. Now, with our last check here we've gone up to 78 and a half percent relative humidity as I have lowered the speed of the fan motor which lowers that coil temperature so we're going to end up with a higher humidity coming out now what does that tell us does it tell us anything well one of the things it does the more temperature difference I have across the coil, that meaning the colder the coil is, the colder the air coming out of the coil is, the more water I'm going to condense out of the air passing through. So why do I care? One of the things that is at issue here, uh, let's say you lived in a highly humid area, Florida, Mississippi, something like that. Oftentimes, you want the air conditioner not just for cooling, because a lot of people that don't live there all the time will have the air conditioning on while they're gone. The reason being they're trying to dry the house out. They're trying to lower the humidity in the house because normal humidity there could be 90, 95%, and you'll start growing mold. So, if I have the air conditioner on, I will move more water out of the air passing through the coil and that will give me a lower relative humidity in the structure which could avoid things like mold buildup and so on. So that's one of the primary things there. Oftentimes we use larger coil because we don't want a lot of lowered humidity. Um, let's say you have in the structure you're keeping things that are made out of carved wood. You don't want those things to dry out beyond a certain point. So in that case, you may use a, an air conditioner with a larger coil so you're not taking quite as much moisture out and it leaves the relative humidity a little higher. So I hope I made this understandable. That's changing relative humidity by changing the indoor fan speed.